uh, our today topic is how to implement sustainable agriculture practical implementation for your project. Uh, I'm uh, Nia Blandelsen Ratimazar. I'm a senior consultant on a sustainability standard certification. Uh, to start, let me give you some uh, brief introduction regarding the concept of sustainable agriculture. So uh, sustainable agriculture is farming in such a way to protect the environment, add and expand natural resources, and to make the best use of non-renewable resources. So the term of sustainable agriculture means an integrated system of uh, plants, of plant and the animal production practices having a site specific application the main goal of this sustainability, uh, sustainable agriculture or to satisfy human food and fiber needs, to enhance environmental quality and the natural resource paths of open with which the agriculture economy depends, make the most effic efficient use of non-renewable resources and on farm resources, sustain the economic viability of farm operations and enhance the quality of life for farmers and society as a whole. You can find in the picture uh, above the main, um, the main uh, points to maintain sustainable agriculture, so health, economic profitability, and social and economic equity. Um, sustainable agriculture is important because it uh, helps to ensure environmental health, provide economic uh, profit profitability for all the farmers uh, working with um, implementation of this uh, sustainability, and also um, help to ensure so social and economic equity. The main objective of this presentation is to let you understand how to implement uh, sustainable agriculture. I will give you some, uh, some of the main principles and also to explain you the practical and applicable sustainable agriculture techniques that can be in, uh, integrated into your project to evaluate the economic feasibility of sustainable agriculture practices and also to illustrate some um, case studies of su successful sustainable agriculture projects. So let's start this, uh, pre uh, this um, topic. There will be nine, nine um, parts which um, emphasize the sustainable agriculture implementation. The first part is to make uh, crop management practices. The crop management practices, it means the adoption of the crop management um, uh, practices to improve crop productivity and then to contribute to greater yields with improved quality. The crop management is a set of agricultural practices and um, each uh, the goal is to improve the crop and to develop and uh, make um, higher uh, yield of crops. The timing and the sequence of agricultural practices depends on several factors. First, the type of crops, harvest, the, um, the kind of harvested products, the sowing methods, and the broadcast and the row crops, 
and also the plant of, plants of age, soil, climate, and the weather conditions. To maintain um, crop management practices, there are uh, different uh, steps needed. First, uh, seed bed preparation. If uh, the crop can be uh, produced by seed, it's the first step because it has to improve the crop uh, growth and the development. The next step is uh, planting when uh, we get uh, the seed. Because of the seed requires optimum moisture and the temperature conditions to germinate. So always uh, uh, pay attention to soil temperature and moisture requirements for proper seed germ germination. Then um, we, can, uh, we need to make fertilization. It's important, especially for uh, crop management. And um, some advanced um, agricultural practices is to make a test of uh, soil and also um, to test uh, what is uh, the plant nutrient needed for the crop. And then we can, they can um, choose the best fertilizer, especially specific to the crop, and then to ensure the plant uh, crop's uh, nutritional requirement. The next step is the pest management. For example, the use of uh, pesticides uh, can be powerful tools for controlling the pest in most crops, mainly if used correctly past urban specific pest species. The irrigation is another critical factor for crop production because it influences the final crop yields and the quality, especially in our trail on the region. Then the harvesting, the yield of quality of crops uh, demand for our first management strategy. And the last step, is a post office storage. It's uh, really important to ensure a good condition of uh, storage. For example, um, to test um, if uh, the storage um, the storage uh, section uh, do not have moisture content for each crop. Uh, and the quality to maximize the quality, reduce pest infestation, and also avoid the deterioration during storage. The second part of um, most important for uh, sustainable agriculture is agroforestry integration. Agroforestry means a sustainable land use system that addresses the production needs of farmers and landowners while providing environmental benefits to society. So it's the intentional combination of first forest and also for uh, agriculture to create a pro productive and sustainable land use practices. And we need to emphasize that uh, agroforestry has the advantage to the interactive benefits from growing cheese and chops together with crops. So um, producers, you follow up for forestry uh, um, integration, do not, um, do, not make a do not make deforestation of trees, but uh, they plant it uh, together with the crop. To implement it, uh, the main practices is to lay a cropping so rows of trees are planted between the rows of crops, providing shade and wind protection for the crops. And the silvopasture uh, uh, practice, this means to involve the integration of trees, forage crops, and the leaves, leaf stock on the same piece of land. Wind breaks 
It involves uh, planting trees along the edges of fields to provide protection from uh, wind erosion and to create microclimates that are more favorable for crops. The last uh, practice is uh, forest farming. This involves growing crops such as mushrooms, fruits and nuts in a forested environment. So the trees uh, provide shade and habitat for wildlife with the crops provide a source of income to local population. You can see in the picture um, the main base of agroforestry that I have stated below. So it's especially trees, crops, and the base of crops and the livestock. The next part is a conservation of uh, tillage and the soil health. Conservation tillage means a type of land management that is less equal intrusive to the soil than conventional farming. It's all about uh, protecting the top soil, so the top of the soil, the managing for residue and the limiting soil distur disturbance with minimum or no tillage. Uh, there are four ways of uh, conservation. Conservation. Uh, first, uh, to promote so, soil health, then to conserve resources, to decrease the energy use, and uh, for carbon sequestration. It's hard to reduce uh, greenhouse uh, gas emissions and the uh, soil nutrient uh, loss. The next um, part is, uh, I think, the most uh, important for uh, sustainable agriculture is to adopt uh, an organic farming principles. Organic farming agriculture uh, should sustain and enhance the health of the soil, plant, animal, human, and the planet as one and indivisible. Organic farming means the main basis to avoid the use of chemical products. There are four main principles. First, principle of health, because uh, organic agriculture should sustain and enhance the health of soil, plant, and animal, and also human that, um, that uh, use the organic agriculture. Then, the principle of ecology, because uh, it is based in the living ecological systems, and the cycle work with them emulate them and uh, help uh, sustain them. The next is uh, next principle is the principle of fairness because it engage uh, relationships and uh, issue fairness with regard to the common environment and life opportunities. And the last uh, principle of organic farming is principle of care because it uh, have to manage in a precautionary and a responsible manner to protect the health and well-being of current and future generations and the environment. You can see I have given you a brief uh, summary of uh, uh, organic um, uh, agriculture here. So, um, Crop productions. It is based in disease and pest control, mechanical weed control, so fertility. So, uh, by using organic uh, certification and organic uh, productions, we can get the um, profitability and the uh, green um, product fast feeding from uh, animal responsibility. The next part is efficient water management. Uh, the main aspect, key aspect of water management, there are uh, five main cases. First, conservation practices. 
It means to implement uh, water conservations such as um, uh, trip irrigation, rainwater harvesting, or soil moisture monitoring. And the goal is to optimize water usage and uh, minimize uh, wastage of water. The next uh, aspect is uh, um, efficient irrigation techniques. or using the different technologies. Then, soil oil find the water retention. The goal is to emphasize the importance and maintaining health soils through practices like cover cropping and mulching. The next is the crop selection and rotation because um, it encourages the selection of the crops suited to the local, local climate conditions and the promoting the crop rotation strategies. So it will help to manage well the water working on the soil and uh, then to prevent uh, soil degradation. The last uh, part is to integrate water resource management this uh, call of this uh, management is to integrate approach to water resource management that consider the watershed, promoting collaboration among farmers and stakeholders to ensure sustainable water use for agriculture. The next part is integrated past management. Uh, in sustainable agriculture, there are um, uh, products, pesticides that are allowed, but uh, they should be. There are uh, some lists uh, that can be used, and uh, also about um, about the amount of uh, pesticide uh, use that if this can be, this uh, should follow the regulation. So. Integrated the pest management is uh, an holistic and sustainable approach to manage pests in agriculture that focuses on minimizing environmental impact while maintaining economic viability. So uh, it uh, interprets various uh, strategies to prevent and control pests eff effectively, promote a balanced ecosystem within agricultural systems. The main principle are uh, first uh, biological control. You can use uh, different uh, insecticides like uh, ladybugs and uh, releasing uh, predatory nematodes to control harmful pests. You can and their cropping and uh, adjust planting times to disrupt the uh, past life cycles. There is also a principle of uh, mechanical and uh, physical control, which uh, means the use University. Do we have any questions here? Welcome, everybody. Do we have any questions? Um, I'm trying to see where our presenter is. I do not see. 
Niavo? Are you here? Sorry, I there, got a, there you go. a big problem of connections. Yes, can you hear me? Yes, so let's follow. Okay, good. It's a bit of a problem of connections. Okay. So, uh, as I said, the next part is uh, about um, biodiversity conservation. Biodiversity conservation, it okay. plays an um, important role in uh, sustainable agriculture because uh, it contributes to the resilience, productivity, and the overall health of ecosystems. There are uh, different uh, strategies. First, agroecological practices, habitat preservations for the lands landscape for natural habitats, and the continuum of uh, per perennial crops. It means to introduce uh, perennial crops into agricultural systems to provide stable habitats for diverse species and reduce the need for a constant land disturbance. The last strategy is to conserve native species. It means to prioritize the conservation of a native plant and the animal species that are uh, adapted to local conditions contribute to the overall um, resilience of the ecosystem. So, uh, integrate uh, biodiversity conservation practices into agricultural project is crucial for promoting long-term sustainability. The next step is uh, livestock and uh, manure management. Livestock uh, play a vital role in sustainable agriculture by providing valuable resources such as meat, milk, and wool. However, their management, uh, particularly concerning manure, is crucial to minimize environmental impact and promote uh, sustainable practices. So uh, in that case, if you want to use a uh, manure uh, in your agricultural project and uh, to get, uh, to maintain uh, sustainable agriculture, there are different uh, strategies. You can, uh, first, it's about uh, composting. Composting, because uh, compost and a soil uh, structure retains moisture and it improves uh, nutrient availability. The process is to turn manure into compost in order to reduce pathogens and uh, weed seeds. Then, anaerobic uh, digestion, it uh, addresses the waste management from a leaf stock while generating renewable energy. For example, you can use um, anaerobic digestion systems to break down manure, which um, produce uh, biogas for energy and the nutrient uh, rich effluent for fertilizing crops. The next strategy is a rotational grazing, which enhances pasture health, increases the forage quality, and minimizes the environmental impact. The last strategy is an uh, integrated uh, crop livestock system, which uh, improves uh, nutrient cycling, reduces external input needs, and enhances overall farm productivity. The main approach is uh, to integrate livestock and crop production to create a synergy relationship where livestock contribute to soil fertility through manure. Resolve the, um, the main objective of uh, livestock management. The next step is a community engagement. It means to engage all the people 
working uh, around the project. So, uh, community engagement and uh, education included a crucial uh, aspect of implementing sustainable agriculture, fostering collaboration, and building a collective commitment to environmental um, conscious farming practices. The main strategies for, did, for that is um, community workshop and uh, felt days. For example, uh, conduct community workshops and uh, felt days to facilitate the exchange of ideas, experiences, and knowledge related to sustainable agriculture. Then uh, we can establish uh, local networks. For example, uh, create a cooperatives where farmers can uh, collaborate, share resources, and collectively address challenges. And uh, finally, involve uh, community leaders, which uh, help you to uh, engage community to leaders to champion sustainable agriculture and uh, to influence uh, the local community regarding with sustainable agriculture. So uh, this is uh, the end of.